you guys, it's Carrie, and welcome to my table of three. Today is Friday, and I'm just going to do a short video and jump on the bandwagon and do a five confessions of a mom tag. I watched Claire at Cookie Come Fun do hers, and I thought it was hilarious and something we all do. And I'm going to put a, a link to her channel below if you haven't checked her out. Do so. She talks about Trim Healthy Mama, large family living, and um, homeschooling. So check her out. And give some of her videos a try because they are always super fun and super helpful to watch. Okay, so my five mom confessions. Remember, no judgment. But here we go. One, on busy weeks, I live out of a laundry basket. Yep, it's the truth. Ask my husband. I think it's probably one of the annoying facts that he would change about me if he could. Because um, their clothes get put away and mine... Never. I wash mine separately, so they never leave the laundry basket on busy weeks. I take them out of the dryer, put them in a the laundry basket, and each day I pull clothes out and put them on until it's empty. Is that perfect? Nah. I should put them all up, but that's a crazy mom confession. I live out of a laundry basket on busy weeks. Yep. Number two crazy mom confession is... I'm a food blogger, and I work really hard to make sure that my recipes are vetted, and I take really good pictures of them so that you guys don't have to worry about them being non, uh, you know, they're not any good, and I work weeks on them to get them perfect before I put them on the blog, and I try to get the best pictures I can. However, on some nights when I'm cooking for my own family, just ordinary food, I quite often get things too salty. Yep. Don't worry about the recipes on the blog because I measure. But at home when I'm cooking, I'm either, when I get home from work, I'm trying to get a blog post done. I'm trying to update my YouTube channel or edit a video and cook. And you can ask my son. I often get a little bit too much salt. And here's another mom convention, a bonus. I've burned quite a few things. I would say probably at least two things a month do I burn. So, yeah, not the best for a food blogger, but it's a mom confession. And, let's see, my third thing that I'm going to confess today, you guys are going to look at me a lot differently, aren't you? Probably so, but this is my wacky self. Uh, the third one is, I have often skipped lessons in our language arts books because my son hates writing. And I skip them if there's a lot of writing because I don't want to hear him fuss. Right? He's shaking his head, yeah. Sometimes I'm a little weak as a teacher, and instead of causing a big ruckus and drinking a whole pot of coffee, I just skip those lessons till later. Now, we do come back later and do them, but we skip them so I don't have to listen to all the, I don't want to do it, I hate writing. So, the fourth thing, what's that, let's see, I'm looking at my notes to make sure I don't ramble. One, two, three, yep. On the fourth day, fourth thing that I'm confessing is most days when I'm not at work or we don't have somewhere to go for homeschooling or errands, we never get dressed. We stay in our PJs the whole time, and I am proud of it. I'm a proud PJ mom on our off days, and I will confess it proudly. Everybody's got to have some PJ time, right? Right. Okay, and number five, I'm going to show you number five. Number five, most days since I homeschool and work from my kitchen table, it looks like this. Yep, a mess, right? That's it. Homeschool books, my computer open to my blog where I'm working or checking comments, and the packages that's come in the mail, maybe some laundry, camera where I've been taking pictures. But that's my messy table, and honestly, my confession is, it looks like that most days. If you haven't seen that, like, if you haven't seen my table like that in the YouTube video, it's probably because I clean it up before I film. Yep. So there are my crazy five confessions of a mom. I hope you enjoyed them, and I hope you don't look at me any differently because I know we all have those not so perfect mom moments, right? And I surely have plenty. I look forward to sharing more from you guys, and I hope you guys check out Claire's channel, and then she has a link to another channel where you can check out a mom confession from another blogger she likes, a vlogger she likes. So thanks for stopping by, and I hope you guys have a great weekend. See you for Monday Meal Prep.